Welcome to the vlog. 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 Season four. Welcome to the vlog. was a special Monday since I didn't have to work so I went on a run with Emilio. Oh come on. He decided to sprint for the last little bit. Oh my gosh that got my heart rate up. I thought I was gonna throw up. Then Turner came over and we spent time with family. It was the last day that everybody was gonna be there and then in the afternoon I went on a walk and then we had pizza together. Tuesday I went on a morning run and then I got my ass to work and it was a very very long day and of course in the afternoon just went to my family's house and then got home. It was really raining on Wednesday so I didn't run and then I went to the gym with George. I am in a state. I am in a, a state. I forgot my key at home. No one comes into the office until like nine so i'm like okay i just i'm having a day i'm already just like really overwhelmed honestly um there's just a lot going on and i feel like i have been going non-stop <sighs> and i said like, okay i'm drenched on the way there so i'm like you know what maybe i should just go home and dry off and get my key and leave of course my container explodes it ruins my entire outfit that I had planned for today. It's I know it's not a big deal, but like my clothes are stained with raspberries. I cut myself cleaning up the stupid container that exploded and I get it. I'm stupid for like I'm stupid for like cutting myself, but like uh, gonna work from home for the morning or just like for an hour. Because I have a meeting at 10 that's in person and I have to like be a normal competent person by the time I get there and not like somebody who's like freaking the fuck out and who's burnt out. Sorry. <sighs> Everything's fine. I don't know. Ew, sorry for the ugly crying. I did some work, bike to work, and then I had all of my meetings. It was a big day for me. I was busy. Then in the evening, I just spent some time with family, had some enrichment time by using the blocks, and then the next day, I had to do it all over again. I went to the gym with George, got home, did some work, had some meetings, lots of graphs, and then during lunch, I went on a run, which felt really Hello, nice. I'm back. I've been working for a couple hours now. It's almost three, so I have my final meeting for the day, and then I'll be meeting Miranda. Today's gone pretty well. I was like more happy at the beginning of the day because something that I've been working on for a while, I think it's finally starting to wrap up, which is really good, but I just feel like really tired and I just don't feel all that great about myself right now. I know that seems kind of negative, but I am just like not in the best place right now. So I really don't care to be at work of all places. And I'm just kind of hoping I'm like, okay, today's going to be, or tomorrow's going to be a better day. You know, I just, I have a lot to get done tomorrow as well. So I'm really hoping that I can try to get it done. Hello, the last meeting of the day actually went really well. I was kind of dreading it all day because I had to present some work and like whenever I have to present work, I get all insecure, whatever. It went well, so I'm feeling good. Nice way to end the day. Now I just get to kind of finish up some tasks. I'm writing my to-do list for tomorrow and then I can relax. I just rotted in bed for a bit before it was time for me to leave. I went on a nice walk with Miranda and then I just got home and I got eaten alive by mosquitoes, which was not very fun. Then the next day I started off with work I felt pretty productive. I had lunch with George and Richard, which was a really nice break. And then I came home, did some more work before leaving to have dinner with my family. My hair was so disgusting. I had to slick it back and I saw a little corgi. I just did a sneak shot of it, picked up my grandparents and we went and had dinner and then I just came home. Hello, I am trying to get out of the house to go for a walk. Um, I literally did no exercise yesterday, which is obviously fine, but I really wanted to get some today. I go on my walk, get my coffee, and kind of just like try to relax a little bit. This was such a good walk. I got 10 kilometers in, went all around the seawall, and then I had lunch with my grandparents, and then I went and met up with some more family, and I was taking the kids with my aunt and uncle to Science World, and that was really fun. I hadn't been to Science World since I was little, or after prom, but I don't think that counts, and there's just so many things that are different, but also a lot that stayed the same, so it was so cute, and then we all went to Gastown to go to me, and we also got Soft Peaks, which was really nice. Another sneak corgi shot, and then the next day I woke up and edited. Also, I noticed I am getting a bit of a bike tan, which is 
was concerning and then Turner came over and we went to the aquarium with my family and on the way there we saw a little corgi so cute yeah me and my little cousins and my aunt and uncle walked there with Turner it was a nice little sunny walk through the forest and I hadn't been to the aquarium since I was like 16 so this was pretty cool to be able to visit everything we found Nemo overall it was a nice little morning spent at the aquarium lots of kid time and afterwards we went to Robert and Maddie for lunch and look how cute Turner is with the kids we had a nice lunch all together so that was nice and then in the afternoon I hung out with Silk and Giselle we went on a nice little walk together hung out and then Silk dropped me off which was so nice of her in the evening I bust out and met up with Ruth we went out to Port Moody to go to the breweries I love it out there. It's the best place to be in the summer, in my opinion. So we ended up walking down to the pier and then we went to Moody Ales and just had a really nice time. Hello, I'm just enjoying my little strawberries. Susan Braden gave me a ride home, which was like so generous of them. I'm so happy. Home safe. Didn't have to touch the Sky Train. Yeah, we're here at the end of another week. This was a very rough week for me, if I'm being honest, but I'm done. Just keep on keeping on, right? So hoping that next week is better. I think it will be. We're supposed to have a heat wave. This honestly doesn't even feel like a Sunday. Like I kind of do not feel ready to work tomorrow, but that's okay. Uh, it should go well. I think it'll be less stressful than last week, which is nice, so. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.